Are you serious? Are you serious? We've got some mirrors, fears in Hong Kong. It's exactly what the headline is. 18 people quarantined in Hong Kong over mirrors, fears. And here's what's happening, folks. Here we go. Wait, that we had Ebola. Can I remind you guys? Can I remind you guys that there's some vials, some missing vials of Mears virus that escaped secured laboratories. And we've already had this middle, what is Mears? Mears is the Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome. And uh, it, when it starts, I mean, last year it was an outbreak, but now Hong Kong's concerned about it. And you know how many people are living in such a close environment in a city like Hong Kong, you don't want this to break out. Well. Hong Kong authorities have quarantined 18 fellow passengers of a South Korean man who arrived in the city infected with the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS. Um, the Chinese city's health authorities said Saturday that 18 people are quarantined in the Lady MacLeos Holiday Village Resort in a remote part of Hong Kong for two weeks. Now they are seated within two rows. They were all seated within two rows of a South Korean man, uh, but have not shown any symptoms so far. Another 17 people are under medical surveillance. Authorities say that this 44 year old South Korean man flew from Seoul, South Korea to Hong Kong on Tuesday and then traveled by bus to Chinese mainland. He is a China first imported Mears case and is being held in isolation at a hospital in Southern China. The potentially fatal virus is very similar to severe acute respiratory syndrome or SARS. We know that broke out in China back in 2002. Uh, and now there's been 15 cases of mirrors that have been detected in South Korea. Uh, Hong Kong authorities are asking other passengers of the Asia Flight 723 to contact them. All right, so you got a guy flying from South Korea to Hong Kong. He's got people sitting all around him. Then he gets off, he's in a crowded airport. Then, and he has to go through customs. You know how you have to stand in line there. And then, then, and you're, it's, it's a respiratory syndrome. In other words, you're coughing. It's airborne. Then, after baggage claim, he gets back out. He has to get a taxi. You know, he gets on a bus. He's riding with another, what, 54 people? Then from there, he goes somewhere else. And he's, I mean, it, from Tuesday to Saturday. So when you say, well, they've got it under control. They've got 18 people quarantined. We're going to be okay. No, it, should pro it probably needs to be about... 800 people quarantined, and there's no way that's going to happen. So now the question is, did anyone else catch the Mears virus from him? And what is the incubation period? Now, I'm not a, a doctor. I'm not a, a, I'm not a pathologist. I'm not a cardiologist. I'm not an ophthalmologist. I'm just a preacher from the cornfields of Indiana, but it's real simple. This is, where, let me just go back. Let's take, take six steps back. Let's take seven steps back. Mirrors. How does vials come up missing out of a lab? If that makes you nervous. How does Ebola come up missing out of labs that are secure? How did 2,600 vials of the SARS virus walk out the front door of a secured laboratory in Paris, France? And who wants, to, is somebody going to use this for bioterrorism? Are you serious? Okay, now Jesus told us that we, these would be some of the things that would happen. There would be plagues or pestilences. There will be. And some of them may be naturally caused and some of them will be terroristically caused or by terrorism. Bioterrorism. There's no question. They will still be great outbreaks. And so this is part of, you know, it's not just the water turning blood red. It's not just birds falling out of the sky. It's not just mega earthquakes in Japan and tsunamis. 
It's not just the eruption of volcanoes. It's not just solar flares on the sun. It's not just the great falling away of the church. It's not just wars and rumors of wars. It's not just famines in California. It's not just these apocalyptic events taking place every day all around you. But you know what America's doing? We're trying to keep up with the Kardashians. We're worried about what, you know, gender Bruce Jenner is. We're, we're more involved with um, uh, trying to, we're being dummy down. The media is dummying you down. The gospel will enlighten you. This is why you need to pick up a Bible. Read, please, read Matthew chapter 24. Jesus tells you exactly what will be happening in the last days, and that's exactly where we're at. You can read it in Mark 13. You can read it in Luke 21. Then go back and study Daniel's visions. Then go read Revelations that John received, and you'll begin to see the picture. And if you want to know about the Antichrist, go to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, because Paul ties together both Daniel's prophetic word of the abomination of desolation in Daniel 9, 27. And Jesus then says, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, whosoever really let me understand. Then Paul in 2 Thessalonians 2 describes to you what that means. It's the Antichrist. And folks, so all these signs, all these things happening right now, they're all part of the black awakening and the rise of of the Antichrist. Right now, though, in Hong Kong, they have fears about mirrors. And so, just pray, okay? We don't want this thing to break out in, in China. Are you saved? Jesus is the way.